All right, for our third part, we're going to create our wheels. So these wheels are based on our uh, bearing diameter, and then uh, we have an overall diameter. Uh, usually these items are given in metric, but we're going to give them uh, in standard or, in this case, inches, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is get started by creating a new element, creating a part studio. And right off the bat, we can just rename it so we don't forget to wheels or wheel, doesn't matter. Uh, we only need to create one. Then for our assembly, we can obviously bring in four of them. Same thing with the trucks. You only need one. You can bring in two of them at that point because uh, they're the same part, right? So notice one thing, our bearing obviously has our axle that we extruded on our trucks. It goes through it, right? And that we remember that that axle is a quarter of an inch. So we're going to make our hole in our bearing uh, at least a quarter of an inch. So we're just going to make it a quarter. We're not going to worry about tolerances right now. But uh, in real life, it would have to be a little bit larger or this axle would have to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to get started by creating a new sketch on the front. And the way that uh, <clears throat> this wheel works is if you double click on this sketch, you can see the profile of our wheel. So what we do is we create the profile as if we slice that wheel into a, a, a quarter of it, and we can see what the actual shape is. And then we have this construction line down here that allows us to revolve it around that line, and it creates this part, right? So similar, if you've done the airplane, it's pretty much the same thing, right? <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna get started by taking a corner rectangle, and we're just gonna draw two rectangles up here just like this, so one into the other. It doesn't matter the dimensions for right now, we're gonna set that in just a second. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab my line tool and construction, and I'm gonna click on my origin point, just drag a construction line out. Doesn't matter if it's to the left or to the right, it'll uh, work all the same. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create center points for these, so I'm gonna grab my point and I'm gonna highlight where it says that that's my midpoint. I'm gonna do the same here. And I wanna make sure that this stays centered on my uh, midpoint here. So I'm gonna come up here to the constraints and find the coincident constraint. Yours might look like this. You might have to hit, hit this drop down, coincident, All right? And I'm gonna select the center point that I just created and this plane which would be the right plane, so that it helps align it with the origin, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing here. If they look off-centered, you're gonna to have to make sure that you get that, uh, that point on the midpoint of your rectangles, right? So we still did not give it dimensions. All we're doing is adjusting this so that it's in the right position. It doesn't matter if these rectangles are way up here, as long as they are along this plane and uh, they're overlapping a little bit. Um, we're going to move them around with the dimension tool. So first thing we're going to do is uh, set up where our bearing is, and then we'll work our way up. So the diameter of inside, it needs to be a quarter of an inch, right? This is where the axle is going to slide through. So it needs to evenly place that space on both sides of our axis. So what I did was I clicked here and then clicked on our uh, construction line, move my mouse below the construction line, and you could see it's uh, measuring to the opposite side whenever you revolve it. So it's assuming that you, since you selected a construction line and you move below it, that you are going to mirror or revolve, right? So we need this to be 0.25. And you'll see it'll adjust it down, and unfortunately, it is not overlapping anymore. And that's okay, because we can change that too. We're gonna do just that. So now we need to figure out the overall diameter of uh, our bearing, which is from here, construction line, to the opposite side, should be 0.75, so three quarters of an inch, which is close enough to the actual uh, diameter of a bearing. It's, um, it's something like 0.766 something. Uh, but for this, again, assembly, it'll work fine, 0.75. All right, uh, next thing we need to do is figure out our diameter or overall diameter for this um, wheel, which is gonna be click here, click here. 
and we're going to make it uh, two inches. All right, so this wheel will be a little bit um, taller, right? Two inches in diameter than our bearing. So it'll give us that profile. And the next thing we need to do is add our width. So the overall width of our wheel is going to be one inch. And the overall width of our bearing, which you can click down here, is going to be 0.75. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just trim these areas so that we create one part. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get that scissor tool, the trim tool, and I'm just going to select these lines so that we get one profile. That looks just like this. All right, I'll hit the check mark. And whenever I grab my, my revolve, so I click next to the extrude, revolve, right? So I select my profile, select my axis, which is this construction line. It'll spin it around and we can see there is my wheel. So it's looking a little bit blockish. So what we're gonna do is take our fillet tool and just select the profile and it'll fill it, that wheel to point two and I think point two looks good let's see what point two five looks point two five um, I'd say point two looks more realistic so we'll keep it at point two and hit the check mark you can get rid of your planes by hitting P and let's add some color no one likes just these this color wheel let's add uh, you know you can make your 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 wheels any color you want pink wheels right red wheels, however you want to do it, totally up to you. Let's go purple wheels. It's pretty dark purple. Uh, and hit the check. All right, that's it for wheels. You are almost ready for assembly. Good luck. If you need any help, let me know.